Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I want to do something a little different today. Um, I want to talk about the plant that's in this tank. And I've had this plant since I started the aquarium hobby pretty much. It's one of the first few plants I got. And, uh, well, here it is. Cryptocorin undulata red. So I got this as a tissue culture plant at PetSmart, right? And it, when I got it, here, this, when I got it, had three plants a little smaller this way than this aquarium co-op sticker. So they were absolutely tiny. And uh, well, as you can see, they're, they're pretty massive right now. So these plants are pretty bulletproof. Uh, from my experience, they've gone under a light that was barely working and they still, I mean, they survived. They didn't really thrive, but they survived. So very, very low light conditions. And then now it's under a fluval aqua sky which is pretty much low light for a 75 gallon so and there's i mean that's what makes them stand up so straight so if it's a higher light they kind of lay down they push that a little more but they're actually pretty awesome plants now they're heavy root feeders so i have this tank dirted i have done it with uh the little things you put under the substrate um i'll think of them here in a second i'm sure uh yeah but these are really awesome plants. So I don't know if this is like the red version or anything like that. They're kind of bronzy in color, dark green on top and a little bronzy on the side. Like I said, it's cryptocorn undulata red. Now I never see anything about this plant anywhere on the internet, so I decided to make a video about it. So these plants add a really nice texture to the tank. You can see how they're very different from the swords and the jungle bow and stuff like that. And it's very different than um, like the java ferns because those are very distinct. And these are a lot different. And they, like, you, can, you can actually plant it down. So I rate them pretty easy to grow just like the Amazon swords. Those are pretty easy unless you have a nose pleco like that one right there that likes to eat swords but they are really easy to grow and they're really nice plant the way they propagate they just send out little runners side by side so i had three plants and you can see i have several plants in here and they just kind of spread and spread and spread and every once in a while there'll, there'll be a one that pops up a little further away like up to five six inches away so like this one right here in the middle you can't really see it but you will uh very nice plant so if you want to start your planted tank this is one I highly recommend. Just remember, you're going to need root tabs. I told you I remember. I told you I remember. Uh, you're going to need root tabs for this plant because it's a heavy root feeder, but uh, or dirt your tank like I did. Dustin's fist tanks, all that stuff. Uh, you can dirt your tank, and it actually, I mean, you can see the plant grow. So it's actually pretty awesome. I would love dirting the tank. You just got to make sure you cap it. But uh, that's all I have on these plants. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that notification bell. You see new videos when I. Uh, when they come out, and thank you guys for watching.